Okay, so I am back. I hope your Monday is a better Monday than an average Monday. So, first of all, I'd like to say thank you for everybody who who remembers the first letter of my name, either my real first name or my YouTube first name, and anybody who even thought to click on my channel. Thank you. Or and even especially those who support me on Patreon or support the merchandise. Thank everybody for just just knowing who I am, man. Because I never thought I would have made it this far in this shit. Now I feel like Dave Chappelle. Y'all you, you remember when Dave? I don't know if anybody watched Dave Chappelle, but remember when he had that show? He's like, if if this, if I haven't been shut down yet, this is gonna be what's gonna do it. Hey, every time I do a video, I feel like that. I feel like this is gonna be the one that's gonna get me shut down. <laughs> but I'm still here, so might as well keep going. So. This article was uh, sent to me from from a, from a, from a watcher. It says ten signs you're dating a red pillar. Turpers, also known as red pillars, are not good people. Here are the warning signs you're dating with a red pillar and need to dump him. Okay, I could already tell Sasha. Of course, a woman wrote it. Um, <coughs> I could already tell you where this is going to go. This is translation. Uh, red pillars figured out our bullshit. We can't get away with being worshipped just because we're women. This is why you should stay away from them. Watch. I already know. I haven't read the article, but because I like to, I like to keep it spontaneous. I hate plan. I hate planning anything out in my life unless I gotta like fly somewhere or something like that. I hate planning because I think if I'm not spontaneous, it loses all the all the the, the spontaneity of it. But anyway, let's continue. Okay, there's a picture that's clearly not her. Um, <laughs> Once in a blue moon, people will see a philosophy that is so toxic, it's incompatible with having healthy relationships. It's rare, but it happens. Sadly, it also happens with increasing frequency now that most people get their love life advice from the internet. So, let me translate this first line, okay? People will see a philosophy that is so toxic is incompatible in having a healthy and having healthy relationships. Okay, that started with modern feminism. Let's just be clear about that shit. That <laughs> that incapacity. See what a woman. If if you let woman go, her default like healthy relationship is where she gets everything she wants. You see, you got you got to know how to read women and, and how they talk and what they want, what they really want. So the core of that is. I can't get away. I can't get away with what I want to. So this is a healthy, pretty, pretty much, because pretty, it, 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 it usually boils down to I can't lock down Alpha Chad, Tyrone, Enrique, whoever the fuck. I can't lock them down, and then the guys who I deem beneath me won't let me get away with my bullshit on them. So this isn't a healthy relationship. It is toxic. That's what it is. That that's that's what woman means when she says that. She can't tie down Chad or Tyrone, which none of they never can. And then the, all the other, you know, like regular men, they see these men as lesser. And so then the woman thinks, hmm, well, these lesser men should let me get away with all my bullshit. Oh, what? You've been studying red pill shit. Oh, no. Now I can't even get away with my bullshit with you. Oh, no. I got to actually become a decent human for once. That's how it plays out. Anyway. The red pill, which was originally form, which which was originally a forum started on Reddit, is one of those kind of philosophies known for being misogynistic and hateful towards women. The red pill espouses ideas that advocate for rape. Wow! <laughs> I can't even do three, two, one because I'm not even upset. I'm just mind blown at this pathetic woman's clearly failing as a woman so now this is when you know women feel is when they just get completely off the charts I, i'm gonna try to read this advocate for rape claims that women only want men who have money and also maintains a strong belief that women are inferior and, and not able to determine what they want bitch and any woman's article will tell you the the, the, the latter Women are women are unable to determine what they want. Women make articles about it. So shut the fuck up, you dumb hoe. Are you fucking sick? Sasha, you are a dumb fucking hoe. I, 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 how much you want bet Sasha wrote an article saying bitches don't know how to determine what they want? How much you I will bet money she wrote an article on bitches not being able to determine what's are you fucking kidding me with this shit? <laughs> Wowzers. I can't even do three, two, one, because I'm not upset. I'm just like so. Shot like 
the, the, the entitlement and, and, and lack of awareness and accountability in women, like, it, it, it knows no bounds. It seriously knows no bounds. Like, it, is, it is forever a shocking and changing experience. Like, you, you can, as soon as you think you heard all, you'll find some dumb hoe that just don't, dives even deeper into it. How much you want to bet she wrote an article going out, well, I don't know what I want. Are you fucking kidding me? Who and who has ever advocated for? I mean, in, in a serious, I, I I get like black humor, like how some you know guys can like joke about rape. I get black humor, but I've never once advocated rape. I've I've never known anybody who advocated rape. This is this is, what this is. This is woman who has failed as woman, and now she's trying to. It's like and when woman fails as woman, she never just accepts she's failed as woman. It's, it's got to be everybody else's fault. It's never hers. So anyway, let's continue. Simply put, it's a forum that regularly advocates for mental, physical, and emotional abuse as ways to control women. Dating a red pillar, or as they're called, terper, is a good way to become a victim of domestic abuse. Wow. So physical... Okay, personally, on my channel, I, I tell men, no, see, don't yell at, don't yell at bitches, don't, don't scream at them, don't punch them, because, see, because, see, because the reality of how that plays out is, see, woman still sees that as, as a win, because she's still getting attention. I advocate ignoring bitches. That's how you keep bitches around you, and calling you, and texting you, and messaging you all the time. Ignore, learn how to ignore their presence. <laughs> That's how you keep them. But who I've never known any red pill forum that advocated mental and mental, physical and emotional abuse. So what about all the shit bitches do to men? What about all that abuse? Withholding sex, you withhold attention. Now you late to, to come to dinner. You don't want to come to the movies because you don't want because you mad at him. And what about all that? See, it's typical dumb hoes, man. This is a dumb hoe. Dumb hoe. Duck. Uh, <laughs> dumb hole radar. <laughs> Anyone who believes in sex positivity, feminism, or even wants to have a healthy relationship with you will tell you to avoid red pill men. Hey, perfect example, cuties. I, I, I wonder if she advocated for cuties. Sex positivity, that's sex positivity. Let's have nine-year-old girls twerking in front of 35, 40-year-old men. That's sex positivity. How much you want... Because I was talking to somebody about this uh, a couple nights ago, man. With that side note, with that cutie shit on Netflix, how much you guys want to... Okay, I can tell you right now. No sane man would have let their nine-year-old daughter go out there and twerk in front of a 35-year-old man. Not a sane man on this planet who cared about his daughter and was in control of his daughter would not let his daughter go twerk in front of 35, 40-year-old men. Okay, no sane man who, who cared about his daughter would, would... No, it just wouldn't happen. And, and, and no sane man would want to sign up to be one of the judges who went out and found all these nine-year-old girls around the country to twerk and try out for the fucking show. Who do you think advocated that shit? Dumbass bitches like this. Sex positivity. That's it. You got sex positivity. You got nine-year-old girls. See, this is what I try to say so many times. Women do not know what is right and what is wrong. They don't know. They sit back and they wait for men to say this is right and this is wrong. Women do not know what is right and what's wrong. Sex positivity, feminism, we want to have a healthy relationship. With. Look, sex positivity, we all know. Look, you don't know what the fuck you're talking about, Sarah, Sasha. Feminism, okay, it's just a known thing like throughout the world. When feminism has infected, like it's usually Western richer countries. Once it's infected them countries, the women are just completely junk and the men just pretty much start outsourcing women. <laughs> if, if, if they got you know the, the willpower the courage and the, and the history of traveling they'll just start dating foreign women they just don't even mess with those women anymore if they have the choice so i mean like that's just what it is man the problem is that it's not always easy to tell who's been reading the forum and who hasn't been well especially in the beginning when you just gonna get pumped and dumped you know, a lot of guys just tell you whatever you want to hear like I say, women do not know what is right. See, this is why, just don't listen to women. They don't know, women, like I say, women do not naturally have morals. Women do not naturally have genuinely good character. Like Patrice O'Neill said, women are not righteous creatures. They don't do things righteously. They do, what woman does, she sits around and she waits for man to say what is right, what is wrong, and then she'll follow. Now, it's, in many cases, the man just has to be 
rich or powerful, whatever the fuck, and then that man's automatically right. I've seen this happen plenty of times in person. If a man does not look like he has some power or some value, then he's a weird old creep for saying some weird shit. If a man who says some weird shit has some power and shit, oh, well, he's just, he must be right because he must be because he's successful. This is what bitches do. Don't listen. <laughs> look, just never take advice from women, man. Never take advice from them, ever. Speaking from someone who encountered plenty of them, <laughs> speaking from someone who's encountered plenty of them, it can take a keen eye to see the signs you're dating one of these people. Here are some of the most obvious ones. I don't, okay. I, yeah, I got my own opinion. Terry Crews, man, he, that dude fucked up. So anyway, <clears throat> one of the most obvious signs you're dating a red pillar is his attitude towards the opposite sex. Red pillars don't see women as equals and in many cases won't even see them as real people with real feelings. Okay. Okay. Now let's just, let's just say she's correct. Let's just, which I don't agree with it, but let's just say I agree with her. Now let's flip the motherfucking table. If a guy was not up to a woman's standards, is that guy a real person with her? Is that man even human to that woman? No, he doesn't exist. They don't remember what he wore, what his last name was, what his first name was, you know, his hairstyle, anything. If you got to see, you got to look through the eyes of a woman. If woman sees man who was not accomplished and like, you know, relatively educated or, you know, looks like he looks just like look like he's like accomplished in some format. Oh, that man doesn't exist to the to woman. If anything, that man's a creep who needs a police called on. him. So don't see, don't listen to shit. Like, see, what women start to do is rationalizing. Well, women are people with real feelings. That's bullshit. Don't ever feel sorry for a woman. Don't ever do that shit. Because trust me, she is dogging out, ignoring, just, just don't even acknowledge the existence of at least 10 other men who are dying for her attention. But you know why she doesn't pay them attention? Because they don't fit her requirement as man. So don't ever pay a woman attention with this shit. Ever. Women are few. Women have feelings too. Fuck that shit. Don't ever, because women don't have feelings when it comes to being like morally correct. They don't have it. Red pillars don't see women as equals. Because, because, okay, because if, if, if man sees woman as equal, woman will discard him and go find a man who does not treat her like equal. That's just how it works. That's how it works. That's just, but see, women can't see it because they are a woman. Like I said in my older videos, see, Trying to explain to her. I told my girl this a few nights ago because I was trying to explain to her some shit. And I told her flat out, look, I'm wasting my time explaining it to you because to explain something to a woman is like explaining to a dog it's a dog. Like a dog just is. It just acts. A dog doesn't think, bark, am I a dog? No, it, you can't convince a dog that it's a dog. It, a dog just is dog and it just acts. This is, it's the same thing a woman. A woman is just woman and it just acts. Woman doesn't think intricately long term about real shit i mean you'll find anomalies here or there but most women don't they, they hate to think they hate it most of the time red pillar red pill users will accidentally let their beliefs about women slip through in casual conversation oh no i'm very open about my beliefs in casual conversation it doesn't slip through anything bitch you will know <laughs> by the time i leave they may sing, say they may say things along the line as women really don't like men unless they're a millionaire this, go, this goes back to the, disproves, to the disproven red pill belief that women are hypergamous. The disproven belief that women are hypergamous? Sasha. Sasha, Sasha, Sasha. You got a lot to learn. Or that women will only be attracted to people who have a higher social status and a larger paycheck than they do. Well, that's a scientific fact. Like you can literally like through through the masses like that has been proven literally through through test subjects of what women want. They want to earn the same amount of men, but they want men to make at least 30 percent more than them. That is literally a fact that has been found amongst hundreds, if not thousands of women who were brought up, who were brought to this ultimatum. You're so emotional. Uh, why do women have to be so sensitive? Ironic as it may be, the angry men and red pill tend to project their own sensitivities on the women. Uh, okay, well, no, because I, I tell men to never show any emotion and just ignore bitches. Like, if, if it's possible, just ignore them and just walk the fuck off. That's how you're going to keep her around. This is also a common tactic of abusers. Oh, yeah, you know this is feminist junk. Because when they started saying abusers, see, these are just, just, just green light words that women with 
especially this population of women with no genuine creativity and no genuine independent thinking. They just hop on the bandwagon and use a certain trigger words like abuser. So this bitch is fucking trash. Okay. This is also a common tactic abusers use in order to minimize their wrongdoing. So that should tell you plenty. Well, it, it, maybe if you came up with more creative shit than abusers, <laughs> that, <laughs> then that should tell me something, that you're a worthless piece of junk. That's why you end, that's why you end up on here doing writing this shit. She slept with someone? Sorry, I can't marry that. Slut shaming is a key component of the red pill philosophy. They have serious double standards when it comes to women. They can have sex as much as they want, but if a woman gets laid, it's bad news to them. Exactly, yeah, and this is another biologically proven thing. Because, and and, and it, may, it makes it makes perfect sense why men would like would keep women locked because l listen men see the reason why this is such a serious issue is because men naturally are loving and caring meaning a man can go out a man can for real go out and have three or four different wives and love and care for all of them legitimately equally but see women can't do that because, see, and like I said, I'm trying to tell a woman it's a woman. So a woman is not going to understand. It's like trying to tell a dog it's a dog. All they're going to do is look at you like, Bruh? and then walk off. Because a woman is woman. It's hard for her to see it. Because, see, the reason why men will do this, will slut shame you, okay, is because woman is not naturally a loving and caring creature. Now, I'll define this in, in this context. You see, the reason why you get slut shamed as a woman is because your attention, your attention and your path in life only goes in one direction as a woman. It only you women because it's this myth that women are multitasking and all this shit. No, women are not. Women are horrible at all that shit. Woman's brain only goes in one direction. So if she really likes Tommy, then she's just she's about Tommy and everybody else is just like a side play thing or whatever the fuck. But see, the thing is, once you get ran through so many times as a woman, it, it breaks that ability to focus on Tommy. You see, your pair bonding is gone. And then that makes even a, a, a an even that makes you an even worse choice to have children with because once that pair bonding is gone, it's like woman's brain, it only goes one direction. So once that one direction has been shattered, you can't woman can never really genuinely be genuinely attached to a partner after that. Like they're always going to be on this like dibble and dabble and they like they they cannot woman they, once woman loses that pair bonding ability, it's done like ducks. Once ducks lose that pair bonding ability, you can't do nothing else with that duck. It just got to go off and just be a lone duck at that point. Like it's over. And, and women's brain works the same way. Now, man, man can man can go and love three and four different wives and love all of them the same and have kids and go to all their birthday parties, buy them all birthday presents, smile with them, play, go down the slide with all of them. Oh, women can't do that. Women can't go country to country to country and have all these babies and then genuinely be a good partner for that next man in her life. She can't, woman's brain can't do that. That's why men say this shit like this. Not all men. Well, let's continue. Not all men. Not all men do bad things, true, but almost all women have experienced that. Red pillars can't stand that truth. Well, yeah, well, yeah, well, yeah, almost all women have experienced that. Yeah, because women are, because, okay, as woman, you're getting ran through or at least getting offers to be ran through sexually by the time you're 13 years of age. <laughs> so, yeah, you've experienced more. Yeah, most women have experienced because you've been, you, most women have either been ran through by 16 years of age or have had offers to get ran through by 16 years of age. So, a woman has much more experience with dealing, because when a woman, hit, pretty much when a girl hits 13, 14 years of age, she is appealing to boys from ages of three years old to men to the age of 133 years old. She can sell her just as 13-year-old girl to all that, that whole age, 13, 14, depending on when they like, you know, grow up. 13, between 13 and 16 years of age, they like that is sellable to men of all fucking ages. And, and it has been since, since the beginning of time. So don't try to come because I know bitches are watching is gonna say, Where's that fucking pedophile? or some shit like that. Look throughout since the beginning of motherfucker. Stop looking at history for the last 15 years, bitch, and look at history from the beginning of fucking time. All right? Bitches were getting fucked and fucked and bred when they was 13, 14 years old. All right? <laughs> like, I didn't make those rules up. You think them, <laughs> them motherfuckers made it up in, in 800 BC? They did that shit. So don't come attacking me for that, for what history did before me. He constantly talks about men's right but decries feminism. Well, of course, when you live in a country where, okay, bitch, look, Sasha, look, when you live in a country, 
where, that's my Steve Harvey where, where, when you live in a country where, where, I can marry you, right? And if I cheat on you, we get divorced and I pay you alimony. Or you can cheat on me, we get divorced and I pay you alimony. So y y you see how equality works? Like they want, like, like it's a common known thing. These, these, these Sasha bitches, they want equality when it works out for them. And <laughs> when it doesn't work out for them, yeah, we don't want that equality. Yuck. We're not equal anymore, girl, because I want that money. They want equality when it works out for them. Do the math, man. They want equality when it works out for them. They don't want equality when it doesn't work out for them, because then it's gross. There's nothing wrong with wanting equal rights for all genders, but there is something wrong with wanting more rights for one gender. Three, two, one. One, two, three. What the heck is bothering me? I almost exploded right there. <laughs> almost lost it there. This dumb bitch goes on to say, there's nothing wrong with wanting equal rights for all genders, but there is something wrong with wanting more rights for one gender, for, with more rights for one gender than there are for others. That's the issue people have with men's rights. Okay, you dumb bitch. This is what I wish. This I genuinely wish this. I genuinely wish that all these bitches like this, I want, I want all these bitches to sign a fucking, I, I want a new law to come into play, right? Where if it's ever caught that woman gets over a dollar over more on a man due, due, due interpersonal expenses, she has to go to prison for 10 years. And I hope, I hope it gets applied across the motherfucking board. Across the board. If 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 I give if, if I if I go get into a relationship with Sasha, there there should be a law where where like where our bank accounts get tracked and if and or some shit like that. And we have to agree to make this shit look make it make this shit 50-50. And, and then not only that, we have to be interviewed separately to compare the facts to make sure we ain't lying and making that shit up. You know how bitches are, they'll manipulate it and lie and make it up. They, they we need to make a law that states for bitches like this, if 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 a woman makes out with one more dollar over and we're, and we're no longer equal financially, the woman has to go to prison for 10 years. I would love to see that shit enacted. I would love to see it. But dumb hoes like this. Because they dumb. You bitch, you get an alimony child. Like, like you, especially, you, you, I can tell she's American because she's writing dumb ass shit like this. You, that there is no easier ticket in the world than to be a physically healthy white woman who can smile and... <laughs> And, you know, and, and is willing to open a hole. There is no easier ride on the planet. <laughs> all right? There is no, even for rich men, because a rich man can just get all that shit stolen from him and he's fucked up. But a, a woman who, just, a, a white woman in America who is physically healthy and smiles and took a bath, there is no easier ride on the planet, bitch. Let's continue. Most men's right activists actively ignore the fact that when it comes to system, systemic oppression of genders <laughs> that aren't their own... <laughs> They don't see that men's rights, men that they 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 don't see that men have rights, women don't. In fact, many men will go so far to see the other gender as an enemy. <laughs> Just look, you guys already know where that's going. I don't even have to go de deeper into that because this is just foolish, idiotic nonsense. They don't see that men have rights that women don't. All right, well, you yeah, go to any family courtroom and say that shit. <laughs> that's how you make a joke of her. <laughs> this, well, Sasha Konikovo said that said that men have rights that women don't. Why am I getting divorce rate right now? <laughs> Why am I getting my house stolen from me? Why am I getting my bank account raped away from me? Dumb hoe. The vast majority of red pill men see women as an enemy or something to control. This belief clearly adds to a foundation of toxic of a toxic relationship. Another, you know, buzzword that basic bitches use: toxic relationship. You can't really love someone who you hate or see as an enemy on principle alone. Well, look, you're just fucking stupid. All feminists want to be raped. Okay, like now, okay, now for this. You see, I'm, I'm willing to bet this was taken completely out of context. Because women, okay, most women want to be dominated. And he probably went on that like tangent after it. But most women do, most, like if you ask most women, most women have that sexual fantasy. 
Like, believe it or not, most women have that sexual fantasy. I'm not saying, now I'm definitely not saying go out and rape women. I'm not telling you to do that. But most women have that sexual fan. That's that, that is their sexual fantasies. It like, because I think they even like looked up what women watch in porn. That was like one one of the higher ranking like searches they would look up. Like women like really in person. Like when you talk to bitches, like they want that shit for real. Don't go out and do it unless you know her and y'all talked it through. Shit like that. But like they want to be fucking down. Like women do not. Like I said before, I mean, women do not want to run nothing. They don't want to be in control of anything. They don't want to lead nothing. They they don't want to win. They want to be with a winner. That's what Patrice O'Neill said. So I didn't make that up. The last part. Women do not want to win. They want to be with a win. They want to be with somebody who's going to take control. Now, I'm sure this shit got fucking taken completely out of context. All feminists want to be raped. Because that's what bitches do. All they do is manipulate shit. So, like, but I don't know. Maybe, maybe he was Maybe he was a fucked up dude who meant all feminists want to be raped. Like, just walk down the street and get raped type shit. Maybe he was just a fucked up dude who said that. But I could, okay. But from the context of how I know how bitches really like to get fucked and shit. Like, most bitches really like to get fucked. Like, I see why, how that can come out of that. That's what I'm going to say. So, again, I'm not saying go out and just see a random woman walking down the street and rape her. I'm not saying that. But what I'm saying is most women, when you sit them down and talk to them and talk about sexual shit, like, most women love to be just completely physically dominated. They love it. If there's one thing that Red Pill, Red, Red, that Red Pill teaches is to be aggressive when pursuing women. On the surface, this may seem like a good thing. It could help shire guys ask women out on a date. But when, the pre when put into practice, it can get very ugly. It gets very ugly. Okay, see, the reason it gets very ugly is not because the one... A lot of times, it's not for the reasons this dumb hoe thinks. Okay, the reason it gets ugly... It's it, this was touched on in a Saturday Night Live skit. Y'all remember that Saturday Night Live skit where uh, they, they talked about sexual harassment in the workplace? And, then, and, and it was like a woman sitting in an office, right? And... And first it was like a regular dude. He came up, you know, he was very nice and pleasant. And he asked his girl for a date. And the girl laughed at him because he was like fat or something like that. And then Tom Brady, the quarterback for the New England Patriots, Tom Brady walks up like literally in whitey tighties and shit and asks her for a date. And she's like, oh, my God, yeah, sure. Like she didn't report him to sexual See, it's only sexual harassment if you're not hot to a lot of women. <laughs> like or like if you like if you don't have confidence when you're doing it. Like that's the only time it's sexual harassment to him. Like, if you're a good-looking guy who looks like you're established, it's not sexual harassment. It's just, did, did, see, then it flips into, oh, well, how do I make myself like him? That, that's where their brains go then. This is how sexual assault happens. And sadly, one of the signs you're dating a red pillar is that he, do, he, is that he doesn't understand that consent matters. Who the fuck, what red pillar is, what red pillar is, is walking around spreading news that consent doesn't matter with women and sex? Who? Who the fuck, because I roast them motherfuckers. Who the fuck is, who is actually, who, I, it's probably, she's making this shit up, man. I'm willing to bet. Or she probably found like one or two like bitter dudes who said some shit like that. And, you know, something like that. I've never heard a red pillar spread that consent doesn't, or somebody that doesn't understand that consent matters. Or he may think that 50 no's and a yes is still a yes. Either way, it's sexual abuse. 50 no's and a yes this bitch is fucking stupid okay so if you go apply for a job and you got returned and you got turned down 50 times for that job and you accepted the job one time and because they said yes well it's a yes <laughs> okay like that's what it is but I, th I see where she's trying to come from she just didn't explain it well because she's just on this rent to just tear down any man probably because she got pumped and dumped or like dumped for a younger girl or some shit like that so now she's on this rent to just find any man to take it out on and figure oh i can get steam because Red pill, you know, it has a group, so we could just take down these men type of thing. You're getting the vibe that he has control issues and anger issues. Okay, yeah, like I said, if you guys know me, I tell you, like, ignore him. If anything, don't get mad at him, don't yell at him, none of that. Just walk the fuck off. <laughs> Reading toxic stuff has a very damaging effect on the psyche. And this is true, regardless of what toxic stuff you're reading. When it comes to the red pill, the most common way it affects men is their outlook on life. Well, yeah, if they live, like, like I said, now, I, I can agree with, with part of this. Because, like I said before, like, if the red pill guy or, or like, Manosphere guy that you watch was never successful with a woman, like, like legitimately, like, you know, sitting down with a woman for a while and, and dealing, managing her type of shit, or he's not with one now, 
like don't listen to him man because a lot of a lot of those manosphere guys they just only focus on woman bad woman bad woman bad woman evil woman bad woman bad okay that's the video bye like they're not actually teaching you what women see and like explaining things through <laughs> so like i agree with her on that like a, there's some red pill guys i would highly advise not listen to if you're trying to grow and know how to handle bitches like don't listen to them i that's what i that's what i would advise so i can i can agree with her on that <laughs> though the red pill promises to give men peace of mind a better sense of confidence it does anything but okay like i said for those select channels or people she might have come across it turns men into bitter, angry, insecure, hateful people. Yeah, if they look, if they follow the men who I told you about, yeah, it's going to turn them into that. Because it, that's all the channel will teach these guys is women bad, women evil, women bad, women evil. That's it, bye. Like, they're not actually walking you through a woman's psyche of what she's hearing, what she's seeing, what she's actually trying to do. How do you fight that? How do you work with that to make it work in your benefit? Like, that's the shit that I try to teach motherfuckers. And, I, and at the end, at the, at the core of it, I try to teach you, like, don't get mad at them. Learn to laugh at them because they're fucking children. Like, w once you learn how to look at a woman as about a four-year-old child mixed with a German shepherd and then treat them as such, you will have much more, much better success with women. I'm telling you. Once you learn to treat them, once you learn to truly view them, look past their beauty, their tits and ass and long hair, and you once you really learn to view them as a, a four-year-old child mixed with a German shepherd mentally, Trust me, your 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 interactions with women will go will skyrocket. You got you got to treat them like that, but then also learn how to ignore them at the same time. And yeah, you you trust me that that that's how you because that's where their brains are. And most men, I mean, I'm sorry, most cases men will eventually cast that anger outwards, usually taken out on family members. Okay, I'm not even gonna comment on that because I don't know where she, how she would even know that or oh, oh, I get why she, she just, I caught her, I caught her, I caught her right here, right here with this line right here. This whole article makes sense now. I could tell you exactly what happened. I could tell you exactly why she wrote this article. I don't even know who this bitch is, but I will tell you right now exactly why she wrote this article. She, okay, she had a brother or an uncle or a nephew or some shit who called her out on her bullshit and then she started getting pumped and dumped and, 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 and her nephew, brother, uncle was right. So now she hates red pill men in general. That, that I, I promise you, this is exactly why she wrote this article. I, I will bet a million dollars to a booger. That's why one, one of her family members caught, caught her on her bullshit. And not only that, the man she was dating kicked her to the pretty much did exactly what the brother said the man would do after she did it. <laughs> and it, and it was right. <laughs> I will. How much you want to bet? That's exactly it, 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 it was a one of her male family members predicted where her relationship was going to go with her boyfriend. And it happened. And now she hates all red pill shit. Because how do the math? D-U-D-A-M-A-F. How would she know that a man that she dated who was red pill went off on his family and started talking to the, she would never see that it happened to her and her family that's how she's i mean do the math for real what how would she know like you say her the dude she was dating would not go yeah i, I cussed out my my nephew my brother because of red pill yeah yeah no that's the, they, or she wasn't around them mother she didn't go back and hang out with the family and all this red pill shit came up and attacked the family no what happened was Either her brother or dad or uncle or somebody like that was studying red pill shit. He seen what was going on. She probably asked for advice or something. And and a dude kept it real. Like, this is what you're doing. This is what he can ready to do. And he's going to be out of here. And he's going to look for a younger model or some shit like that. And that's exactly what happened. And then she got mad, bitter, and jealous. And then she ended up on this, on this website writing shit about red pillars. I will bet a million dollars to a booger that's what happened. Most women who have experienced dating Red Pillar can tell you that it's not only bad for women, but terrible for a man's mental health. Of course, yeah, yeah, right, yeah. All this is making perfect sense, man. It's making perfect sense now. <clears throat> the most insidious thing that the Red Pill does is advocate for abuse tactics as a way for men to get their way. Well, what do you think bitches do in the world? What do you think, what did you do when you was dating Sasha? 
you did the same shit when you was trying to get men. You gonna do what you do. The whole reason you wore makeup, the whole reason you wore heels, the whole reason why you wore that shirt with that pair of pants was so, was so you could manipulate a man to think you're hotter to get what you want out of that man. So don't come here with that bullshit. The, man, get what they want. Like, yeah, man, you, you were raised. You, woman, that's woman's tactic in life, <laughs> all right? It's not surprising for many that red pill followers get divorced due to their abusive behavior. See, now she see she's taking every chance she can at just bashing red pill. Because like I said, what happened to her? That her one of her family members was red pill and and pretty and spelled out what would happen in her life, and it was true. So now she's mad. That that's what it is. That's what it is. They advocate. So here it's just gonna be bashing red pill at this point. Cause because she because a red because one of her red pill family members called her out and it was right. They advocate for dread gaming, which is pretending like you want to leave the relationship to get your way. They also suggest that men openly refuse to... Well, that's what women do. Because how many times you had a woman talking so, oh, I'm, I'm going to leave, blah, 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 and then she comes back a week or two weeks later. Women do that shit, so shut the fuck up. They also suggest that men openly refuse to help women when asked and generally promote verbal abuse. Yeah, because that's what gets pussies wet. Duh. <laughs> Duh. They also suggest men openly refuse to help women when asked. Yes. But yeah, because if a man did these things, if a man did the opposite, if a man openly helped a woman when asked and and never had any type of verbal abuse, he would fall where? Into the friend zone. That <laughs> this is how you, this this is the this is the the tactic of making vaginas wet. <laughs> You treat them like you're always, I told my girl, a man is always better off treating you like shit than he is being nice to you. Because if he's nice, he'll fall into that friend zone to never get out. That's what gets pussies wet. Red pill men do not want to lift up their partners. They are sad people who only feel strong if they beat down people who care about them. Yeah, sure. If you find yourself feeling gaslighted, hurt, ignored, or otherwise manipulated, chances are very high dating a red pill. So if she has all this experience, what was she turned on by? Do the math. If if she if, if she's so knowledgeable about dating red pillars and she knows getting hurt, getting ignored, what was her vagina getting wet for? Do the math. And what was she running away from? All these nice guys would openly helped her and all this shit like that. Do the math. Her vagina was getting wet for these guys. It's real funny. You see, you don't see women write these articles for guys who are nice to them. Like, oh, he was so nice to me and blah 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 and uh oh, ga ga. No, they see. The, their their vaginas got wet for these guys who learned their code. That's why she was fucking them and dating them so much. That's why. Because your vagina was getting wet for that, bitch. That you wanted it. You didn't want nice Tom who opened a door for you and fucking cooked you breakfast. You didn't because he was too nice. You wanted somebody who gaslighted, hurt, ignored, or otherwise manipulated you. That's what you wanted. That's, what, that's why you kept dating them. That's why you're so educated in it. <laughs> Uh, I need a drink. He's using terms that are associated with red pill. Okay, see, and this is another bullshit thing too right here. He's using terms that are associated with red pill. You see, because you got to do the math. Red pill, MGTOW, all this shit. Like, see, motherfuckers watched women and assigned words to it. Women have always done these things since the beginning of time. But, like, when women do not think. They just act. So women never had these words attached to this certain kind of man who did this and this and this and this. Women just knew what it was and just acted and learned how to manipulate it. Men actually add definition to shit. So, of course, she's going to say this. So she goes, she continues, red pill users have their own little vocabulary. See, like, don't you like the word little? Their own little vocabulary. See, that, see that, that, that's dumb bitch for I'm trying to take you, I'm trying to tear you down. She's angry. That's what it is. Little vocabulary that they use to discuss their dating lives as well as lifestyle as the forum, uh, lifestyle the forum suggests living. They may start using terms like alpha, beta, cuck, plate, hitting a wall, or gynocentric. How many bitches you heard use gynocentric? What the fuck are you talking about? And also, see, look, man. Woman always, because, okay, now I bet you, I bet you this. Okay, so look, Sasha, if you, okay, if only, if they're learning these words from, from red pill, go, do this then. If this is, if this is just red pill shit, do this, Sasha. 
Walk, go find one of your girlfriends who don't know nothing about red pill and just start using these words. And I bet you she's going to be, oh, yeah, that's, yeah, that, that's Rod. Yeah, Rod's the cuck. Yeah, Rod's the cuck in our relationship. She don't even have to hear a definition. She's going to know what it is. It's not just red pill, right? I mean, they, we made the, they, they made the definition, but you know what all this means without it. You, you, I can't, she didn't have to Google hitting the wall. She knew what hitting the wall meant. She knew what an alpha man was. She knew what a beta man was. She knew what a cuck was. She knew what a spinning plate was. She knew what it was. So she, but she, like I said, she's just angry. This little, see this part, little, little vocabulary. See, like she's, she's angry. That's what it is. In many cases, they will also shrug off things by saying, hey, all women are like that. This is a classic red pill phrase that they use to try to make it sound like your negative reaction and abuse isn't their problem, even when it is. Isn't their problem. Anyway, who cares about that? <clears throat> you know, you know how you can tell that someone clearly wants to have power over someone? It's always showing their body language or the way they react when asked for help. It's the same thing with women. Women do the same thing. Red pill men are very well known for their inflexibility and their tendency to pull power moves to make women feel inferior. Women do the same shit to men. You was when you, when you was in your prime in 1920 and hot, you knew the power move it took to get the guy to, 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 to try to communicate to, to the right guy that you liked him. You knew the, the you knew all that. Don't try to pretend you didn't. You knew. So don't try to push this all on men. That's the thing about red pill readers. They start to constantly crave power. They also told to grab control by being necessary, which translates to really awful manipulation tactics. Yeah, she's just angry. He refused to spend a single cent for you. Mm. Why should he? If we equal, we both equal. Why should we? Mm. If we equal, why should a man spend a cent for you? We're equal. <laughs> We're equal. That means you can equally buy your own shit and then we'll equally have equal sex together. No, because you want some. See, you because you want a man to spend some shit on you because you want to be owned. You want to be led by that man. <laughs> That's why. <laughs> one of the things that Red Pill users detest is spending money on a woman and dating. And that's actually one of the most common things mentioned in the forum. Well, bitch, because y'all started it. F what? 15 minutes ago. We just got on how equality, 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 equality. But see, yeah, see you don't want equality when it, when it don't work in your benefit. They will often ask women to spend money on them or regularly forget their wallet at home. Or they will actively brag about refusing to spend money on dates. Obviously, this isn't attractive. Yeah, because what's attractive? When a man buy, buys you shit. Which means that men are now above you. Though this could be the sign of a cheapskate, it's also more reliable signs you're dating a red pill. Toxic masculinity turns you into a te into a cheapskate, you know. She 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 got dumped by by a dude either either her I think her family member told her or she got dumped by dudes who was doing red pill shit to her. And she sat down, thought about it for a few months, got angry and wrote this article. Marriage, statistically speaking, is more beneficial to men than it is to women. What marriage, statistically speaking, is more benefit? What, what statistic is she talking about? Because of course we're not going to see any actual fact on this, or 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 or, or mention a fact that we can go Google. Okay, oh, because I'm very killer with this next sentence. Marriage, statistically speaking, is more beneficial to men than it is to women. Married men live longer than single men, have higher paychecks, and also have overall happiness, ha overall happier standard of life. Who the fuck, what man is, is, is walking around saying, I have a happier standard of life because I'm married? What man is doing that? He's saying that, yeah, when you around, because he know you want to hear that shit. <laughs> but what man is like honestly saying that shit for real? Women, on the other hand, are statistically happier single. Okay, well, then stay, then stay single, get you a bunch of cats, uh, get some wine, and shut the fuck up. <laughs> if you happier being single, then be single. No, be single. Bye, bye. Like Tommy Loren. Tommy Loren was like, well, just be single then. All right, then bye, bye. Cause you don't want to be single, baby. You want you don't want that shit. You just an angry child trying to just bash everybody to make you feel better. Shockingly, most men resist marriage. What makes the red pill different from just a general dislike and mutual of or mistrust of marriage though is the level of hatred they have for it. No, it's not hatred. It's 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 a bad deal for men. Like I said, if we get married, 
If I cheat, you get divorced. If I cheat, we get divorced, you win. If we get married, you cheat, we get divorced, you win. It's a it's a fucked up deal for men. There is no benefit for a man in a marriage. <laughs> Red pills are extremely against marriage and claim it's a trap. They will not only say it's a trap, but even use terms like divorce rape to discuss it. Simply put, if you notice seething anger at the term marriage, you're probably dating a red pillar. Okay, now, Miss uh, what's it, Sasha, bring up the stats on family court for this. Since you're so fucking smart, red pillars are extremely against marriage. Okay, I will never marry an American woman or, or, or a UK woman. I will say that. I've always said that. I told my girl that. I would never marry or have a child with an American woman. And I knew it when I was, a, I knew it when I was younger because I knew they were fucked up when I was younger. They will not say it's only a trap, but will even use the words like divorce rape to discuss it. Like I say, Sasha, please pull up the facts that will back why men gave it this term. You see, you notice how women never fucking give you anything to go Google or no stats to actually go or put actual facts in anything because like because women don't like to think too deeply. They just like to get mad and just ramble. <laughs> like, like anytime you get in an argument it's the same shit when you start bringing up facts that is just like the the anti-life equation to bitches like, <laughs> like that's just the complete anti-life fucking what's that motherfucker doomsday or just not doomsday uh dark side just pop up that's the, the anti-life equation to bitch when you start speaking logic two plus two equals four bitches just go oh no it's logic again Three times three equals nine. Oh, no, no, just stop with the logic. Just stop. Just stop with the logic, please. No. <laughs> he equates sex with, with success. Well, that's how women do it. Women want to fuck successful men. Eh, duh. Here's the thing about being a red pillar that most people don't want to admit. The red pill isn't for men who are healthy and happy. It's for men who are sad, insecure, weak, and lonely. What did I tell you? Either, okay, like I said, a family member came and told her what her red pill boyfriend or boyfriends were doing and how they pumped and dumped her. She did, this woman is angry because nothing's making a lot of sense. And then she's just running to just like, you know, talking, I mean, just completely talking down about men. Because cause she's, she's, she's crisscrossing on what she's saying. Because if she, why is she so educated on dating red pillars? But then they're lonely. Like all the, and then she's going on how women are happier alone and all this. This is a, this is a, this is just another bitter, scarred, wall hit woman. I, I promise you. I'm gonna look. I'm gonna look at her name before I get off here. I'm gonna look deeper into her. If they were happy with the way life was going, they wouldn't need to look up this kind of advice online. Part of being able to stop the red pill from spreading is to give them a happy life and show them that they don't need to lash out at others. No, no. Part of giving them a happier life is to fix them laws in American governments. <laughs> Cause in that in turn will fix you because you think you can get away with everything because you're a woman. And then and the United States government pretty much lets you do it. They incentivize you to do it. No, how you make a man happy is to get, is to cut that option off from women, from the U S governments from just Pretty much giving a woman wherever the fuck she wants because she's just simply because she's a woman. And then, like I said, that will, that will train woman to become a decent human after that. One of the final signs your dating red pillar deals with his attitude towards sex. So you see him, does he seem like he sees it as, a, as an indicator of success or as a way to dominate women? If so, he's a terper. And he's, see, she's using these terper words. This is a, this woman is a lonely post wall bitter woman born in ukraine and living in new york city has become obsessed with makeup fashion anything keep her felt bigger she well, look at this shit look at how this shit ends out she hopes to marry a billionaire and have a lifestyle like paris hilton let's just look at all the other shit she wrote Motivational speeches, makeup, alien abductions, 12 signs of walk away life syndrome before. Why do people ghost people? So she got ghosted. How much you want to bet? This article right here. I don't, can y'all see that? Hold on. Let me make this smaller again. Why do people ghost people? How much you want to bet? The article I just read was influenced by this. Why do she got ghosted? 
How much you want to bet it was influenced from that? So she's in New York City. Okay, here's my oh, here's my assessment of her. 13 signs he's playing power games with you. 13 signs she feels that, yep. All of this, bruh. Do the math on this shit. Let's go back to the first page. All right, so why do people ghost people? Let's do the math on this article right here and the order of this shit and how it took place. It went from 13 sides she feels neglected by you, 13 sides he's playing power games with you. So why did, did, did she got ghosted? <laughs> That's what the fuck. <laughs> Bitches tell on themselves how much, how many times, like I said, let them just talk, let them exist. They actions tell on themselves. They tell on themselves. Make up, make up to get a man. All these accessories. Also, okay, so so she's a swinger too. So she so she's fucking around. She's a swinger. She got she fell in love with a dude. The dude ghosted her, and that's how we got the article. I, I read to you. Beauty makeup. Oh, she wanted to marry the dude. Ten signs you should hire a wedding planner. Oh, she wanted to marry him, bro. Now, that's what <laughs> she wanted. She wanted to marry him and she got ghosted. And now she's and did, and did she end up on Reddit and stumbled into a Reddit Peel page? And that's how we got the article. That's what happened. She was like boutonniers for grooms, pheromones, and afraid. Oh, bruh. Taking amazing selfies. 10 signs your wedding guests won't speak. Bruh, she was getting ready to get married. That's all. Oh, that is sad. Okay, so she must have been single right here. Toxic masculinity. Oh, no, oh, no, no, no. I bet what happened was here. She was probably in the beginning stages of dating him when she wrote this. Toxic masculinity. Because now she's starting to question his ability and shit. They tell on themselves, make up. It, bruh, they tell on themselves, man. So my assessment is this. Oh, yeah, she's living, she's living in New York City. So she's getting passed around like hotcakes. I got that from Dave Chappelle. She's getting passed around like hotcakes. And she thought she had a motherfucker under her fucking uh, shoulder and shit. And that motherfucker went off and found something better. It's what they do, man. And, and now she's walking around mad and, and taking our anger on red pill. <laughs> Fuck this, man. This is ridiculous, man. Anyway, that's the end of the video. Thank you for anybody who even watched this long. Um, thank you for anybody who even watches, clicked my shit in the first place. Thank you, man. Hey, and you guys have a good day. And I'll talk to you later.